until last week. Josh Grebon will kick off and it's time for the opening kickoff brought to you by Easy Edge from U.S. Cellular. Find weather, news, sports and more on the go. Easy Edge, the easy way to get more from your phone. Brandon McAnderson, one of the deep men for Kansas. So together is Jake Sharp. Kicking off with the wind at his back is Josh Grebon. And he hits it well, end over end. Sharp chased back into the end zone. It will go through the end zone and be a touchback. And Kansas will start on the 20 yard line. And we'll see which quarterback comes out. Farman's wearing a hat, so it's not going to be him. And Reesing's wearing a hat, so it's going to be Kerry Meyer, the uh, freshman, the redshirt freshman out of Pittsburgh, Kansas. Brother of K State quarterback Dylan Meyer, who didn't play last week, but he's injured. Sixth start of the season for Kerry Meyer. He's been battling shoulder injuries. He's completed 55% of his passes, 10 touchdowns, eight interceptions on the year. He's under center on first and 10 from the 20 yard line. Cyclones shift their defensive line. Meyer still barking out signals. Play clock down to two. And he's going to just barely get it off. Hand off to Cornish, trying the left side. Nothing doing. A loss of two on the play. Ataba Rubin was there to greet him. Well, That's it, a great start. Also, Brent Curvey right there, too. Good job by Iowa State. They shifted their defense after K State or KU went into motion. And I think. That time the quarterback Meyer tried to change the play, but whatever happened, it, it didn't work. Iowa State ready to really read that play very well. Loss of almost two yards on the play. It'll bring up second down, about 12 yards to go here for Kansas. Two receivers left, two right in the shotgun now. Kerry Meyer, real athletic quarterback, looking to his right and throwing it that way. Dropped by Dexton Fields, and it's an incomplete pass. It was almost a lateral, but it was a forward pass, and it was incomplete, and it'll bring up third down. And a long 11, close to 12 yards to go for Kansas. Just trying to hit the receiver out there on the quick screen. That time, though, Iowa State really had read it well, and they, had he caught the ball, it probably would have been at the line of scrimmage or maybe even for another long. Now we're seeing some emotion from that Cyclone yep. defensive unit telling the crowd to help them out here. Third down, 12 coming up for Kansas. The 18-yard line just underway here at Jack Trice Stadium. Kerry Meyer getting the start at quarterback. Works from the shotgun. Four receiver set. Meyer drops to throw. Big pressure coming. He slips away from it. Rolls to his left and runs. Across the 20. 25. He fumbled the football. And it's loose. And Iowa State has it at the 26-yard line. Caleb Berg recovering the fumble. As Meyer trying to gain a couple extra yards at the end of that run. Had it stripped. And... Right there to fall on it was Caleb Burr. Alvin Bowen, the man who forced the fumble that time. Nice job by the defense. Looked like Meyer might be able to run for the first down. I take Curvey with a great job, though, flushing him early because he got off his block and he was in the pocket and forced Meyer out before he had a chance to really develop the pass play. Cyclone start at the Kansas 26-yard line. Four receiver set in the shotgun Meyer. He'll give it to Josh Johnson. He's met for a loss all the way back to the 31 yard line getting through there was Wayne Wilder one of those good defensive tackles for Kansas and that is a loss of close to five yards on a running play Wilder 6'3 295 pound senior man just bursting through that time and Jason Scales probably not able to play much today Josh Johnson will, will get the bulk of the carries but I don't think they're going to be a lot of carries we're going to see a lot of of four and five wide receiver sets. And that's what we see right here. Five receivers, Brett Meyer all alone in the backfield on a second down, 14 to go from the 30 yard line, they'll call it. A quick pass, left side, caught by Yusef Messiah, and his knee hit the ground at no. the 30 yard line. No, said it's incomplete. Okay, they're rolling it an incomplete pass. Messiah tried to go down to a knee and make the catch, couldn't hang on. So we'll bring up third down and it's offense for Iowa State off to a slow start as uh, a loss of close to five yards on the first play, then an incomplete pass. Unlike sports, safety has no timeouts. Mid-American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly, at your service. When you get the turnover, you sure would like to take advantage of it. Moses goes wide right to the left side, Sumrall and Flynn. And in the shotgun, Brett Meyer, they'll go with a couple of tight ends here, and Johnson's back in there at the tailback spot. Meyer drops to throw. 
has protection. Now steps up in the pocket, looking, rolling to his left, still trying to buy time. He'll run with it across the 25 to the 20 and steps out of bounds at the 18-yard line. He puts him in a position now where they can go for it if they'd like or they could kick the field goal, but a, they're a gonna, gain on the play of 12 yards for Brett Meyer. I think they're going to kick the field goal here. Well, maybe not. You want to get some points out of this. And Brett Culbertson comes in. So Meyer gets 12 yards back, which is important because it gives Culbertson a chance here. With the wind at his back, he'll be kicking a field goal attempt of 36 yards. From the left hash mark. Holding is Austin Flynn. Good snap, good hold. Kick on the way by Culbertson, and he knocked it through. Brett Culbertson gives Iowa State a 3-0 lead with 12.28 to go in this first quarter. Time out on the field. Back with more Iowa State football after these messages. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Spence. As uh, Caleb Berg recovered a fumble. Leads to a field goal for Brett Culbertson, 36 yards out, and the Cyclones a 3-0 advantage over Kansas. 12-28 to go first quarter. And let's sneak down to the field. And Ben Bruns for the consumer credit of Des Moines sideline report. Obviously, Ben, it would been nice to have a touchdown, but at least they got some points on the board after that turnover. Well, that's true, but, you know, you'd like your freshman running back to have a chance to uh, make some yards and uh, didn't do a good job of blocking up front on that first play. But Brett Culbertson really this year has improved tremendously and, and has done a nice job. So good to have points on the board. 3-0 Iowa State leads it, and now the ball blows off the tee as it so often does. Josh Grebon will go reset it. Well, this break in the action is your chance to break for a cold Bud Light. The refreshingly smooth taste of Bud Light, always worth it. Grebon kicking off with that strong breeze at his back. His first kickoff was a touchback. He's done a better job as the season has progressed, too. We've seen a lot of the special teamers get better. I think Brian Schneider's done a good job with that group. And Grebon kicking off here, and he hits it high toward the side, and this will be Sharp taking it at the one-yard line right along the sideline to the 10, angling to the middle of the field, and he's hit and dropped at the 19-yard line. So uh, good job by the coverage unit. Ryan Baum made the stop for Iowa State, but Sharp catching that ball right near the sideline. They're right back at the one, and you know it's one of those plays too where he's running toward the side, and he almost steps out of bounds over there when he catches it. So Kansas will start at the 19. Kerry Meyer, quarterback to the first series, he'll be back out for the second series as well. But don't be surprised if we see more than one quarterback for Kansas. How many years is it now that we've seen that from Kansas, where they've been playing two, three quarterbacks? It seems like every year that uh, the Jayhawks have several guys that play. First and 10 from the 19. Meyer under center now. Fakes a handoff to Cornish, rolling to his right, under pressure, throws it, and it is complete at the 30-yard line. No, they're going to rule that it hit the ground. Making a diving effort for the ball was Dexton Fields. Chris Singleton had the coverage. Fields trapping it, unable to make the clean catch. Well, nice job, too, by Sean Moorhead not buying in on the play fake. Stayed, kept containment, kept some pressure on Meyer as he rolled out on the bootleg. Cyclone defense was able to get a turnover on Kansas's first possession. Sean Parker is in the game right here. At one defensive end spot, Sean Moorhead at the other. In the shotgun, Kerry Meyer second and 10 from the 19-yard line. And Meyer drops to throw, shovel pass inside to Cornish, and he's uh, across the 20 to the 22, but brought down there. Good job by the Cyclones reacting. Brent Curvey in on the stop. It's a gain of just three yards. It'll bring up third and seven. Well, a shovel pass, a real staple of the KU offense. At that time, out of the shotgun. A nice job by Curvey. Everybody really recognizing that one, too, Rashawn Parker as well. So third down and seven coming up from the 22-yard line. 11.34 to go, first quarter, 3-0. Iowa State leads it. It's a three receiver set for Kansas. And Meyer working from the shotgun. Line of scrimmage the 22. Meyer takes the snap and back pedals. Big pressure up the middle. He's sacked. Sean Moorhead, who had two sacks last week. Gets him back at the 12 yard line, and Kansas will have to punt. Atamba Rubin was in there as well. A oh, great job by Sean Moorhead. Just beat his guy. A little game run on that side between Rubin and Moorhead. Moorhead loops around and goes through virtually untouched. Well, the Cyclone defense doing the job again. A three and out for Kansas. In fact, that drive going in reverse. They lost seven yards. 
and they will punt it from their own end zone. Fourth down and 17, line of scrimmage, the 12. Ryan Baum, the return man for Iowa State, standing in Kansas territory at the 45. The wind in the face of the kicker, Kyle Tucker. He gets rid of it and tries to keep it low. Baum, a fair catch signal. He fumbled the football, and it's loose, and I believe, well, we'll just wait and see. Well, I thought don't Kansas might have gotten back on it, but they might have had it sneak out of their fingertips. No, it is Kansas's football at the 46-yard line as uh, Ryan Baum calling the fair catch, unable to haul it in, and Kansas recovers the fumble. Ooh, I couldn't tell if it hit his face mask when it came down or his chest, but either way, bounced away, and Ryan just couldn't get on top of it. So, a mistake by the Cyclones uh, thwarting that defensive effort. Yep. Yep. And uh, Kansas takes over at the 46-yard line. And this is where Iowa State has not been able, after a bad break, they haven't been able to, to, to stiffen. Let's we'll see if they can do it today. Backs in the eye behind Meyer on first down and 10 from the 46-yard line. Hand off to Cornish. Hit and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. It was John Banks that made the stop for Iowa State. No gain on the play. Well, excellent job that time, KU, running out of the eye formation, trying to get the lead blocker. Banks slipped in behind that lead blocker and made a sure tackle on the guy who's already rushed for a thousand yards this season. Cornish is not one of those guys that explodes to the hole. He's a guy that uh, has a lot of patience and waits for a hole to develop and then takes off. Under center, Meyer, option play, left side. He will pitch it last second to Cornish across the 45 to the outside and taken out of bounds at the 48 or 49, depending on the mark. It was Caleb Berg that ran him out of bounds, but not a big gain. They will mark it, it appears, at the uh, 49. So gain of three, it'll bring up a third down and seven again for Kansas. The Cyclone defense has done a great job so far in this game. Cyclone football is brought to you by your Central Iowa Ford dealer. Check out the 2007 all-new additions to the award-winning Ford lineup. Visit your Central Iowa Ford dealer. Ford, bold moves. Third, big, big third down play here for the defense. From the 49 of Kansas in the shotgun, Kerry Meyer. Takes the snap, rolling to his right, looking to throw it. He dumps it off, and it is caught by Brian Murph across the 40, 35, 30, down the sideline. Murph to the 20, to the 10, and he will take it in for the touchdown. A 51-yard touchdown pass from Kerry Meyer to Brian Murph. Uh, just really just a little hitch route, only about eight yards downfield, but Cyclones' Chris Singleton missed the tackle. I mean, it wasn't even any great move. He just came in, took the wrong angle, missed it, and then Murph went down the sideline. So... Cyclones, after a couple of outstanding defensive series, one play uh, lets the Jayhawks take it into the end zone, take the lead. And taking advantage of that fumble on the punt return. Now they block the extra point, however. And so, uh, Scott Webb, it was a bad snap. It trickled back to the holder. He tried to get it down, but by the time he did, the Cyclones got in there and blocked the extra point attempt. So it'll stay a 6 nothing game. It might have been Curvey that got through there and blocked well, it. It might have been the center's butt, too. It's kicked pretty low. Well, somebody got through and blocked <laughs> it. But 6-0 uh, game, 9.32 to go. Timeout on the field. 6-3 the score in favor of Kansas. You're listening to Cyclone Football. 9.32 to go. First quarter, 6-3. Kansas in front of Iowa State. Cyclone struck first with a field goal by Brett Culbertson after a Kansas fumble. But then Ryan Baum fumbling a punt return. And a couple of plays later, Kerry Meyer to Brian Murph, 51 yards for the touchdown. They missed the extra point after it was blocked by, we believe, Brent Curvey. And a 6-3 Kansas lead. Now kicking off Scott Webb, he keeps it low with that wind blowing in his face. It's taken by Mylon Moses at the 15-yard line. Running to the right, now cutting back to the 20, 25. Moses keeps his footing to the 35, 40. Cuts back again and gets to the 45-yard line. The market at the 46, a beautiful return for Mylon Moses. A great job fielding that one. That was one of those line drive squib type kicks kind of took a weird hop on him at the end he's able to field it and then cuts it upfield a lot of times you want to see your guy just go straight up the field that time Milan did a nice job of reversing his field a couple of times and picked up some extra yards 31 yard return for Moses Iowa State starts first and 10 at its own 46 trailing by three points wind at the back two receivers left one right Lone setback, Josh Johnson under center, Brett Meyer. He'll give it to Johnson, trying the right side, cuts back, and he gets across uh, right to midfield anyway, a gain of four. As uh, he started to his right, didn't see much daylight there, and cut it back to the left, and was able to get four yards on the play. Jerome Kemp, the stop. Looked pretty good running that time. Not a lot of hole at the point of attack, but good read by Josh. It picked up four yards on a play that 
You know, it didn't look like there was much there. Second and six from midfield for Iowa State. 8.40 to go. First quarter, 6-3. Kansas leads. Meyer under center. Two receivers left, one right. Option play to the left side. Meyer will keep it himself and dives forward for a couple to the 48 of Kansas. And Mike Rivera, the terrific linebacker for KU, made the stop. Okay, you did a pretty good job getting out that on the option play that time. There really wasn't anything there on the pitch, maybe uh, more risk. So Meyer cuts it upfield, gets a couple, and brings up a big third down four situation. You've never tasted Applebee's food like this. The Food Network's Tyler Florence is Applebee's new head chef. Come try Tyler's specialty dishes only at Applebee's. Third down and four from the 48-yard line of Kansas. Three receivers right, one left. And in the shotgun formation, Brett Meyer. Meyer looking to throw left, throws that way, deflected at the line of scrimmage and broken up. And knocking it down was number 84, or 94 rather, Caleb Blakesley, I believe it was, on the end of that play. And then Iowa State will be forced to punt it. Oh, cycle and squander, a, a really good kickoff return. Jonathan Lamb, deep. Cyclones have actually run it more in this Mike game, John, than I expected. Back to punt. Mike Brantner, line of scrimmage, the 48 of Kansas. He has the wind at his back, so he'll just try to hit it higher, maybe just take a little something off and angle it to the corner. And he does hit it well. Lamb takes it at the eight yard line, and he'll return it to the 15 to the 20. Lamb to the 25, getting to the outside, taken down at the 29 or 30 yard line by Alvin Bowen. They're gonna mark it closer to the 30. A uh, good return by Lamb after the punt by Brantner. Timeout on the field. Kansas will take over the 30, leading 6-3. 6-3, Kansas leads, and they will have the football here at their own 30-yard line. As Iowa State's offense has not been able to get anything going so far. Meyer hands it off to Cornish. He is hit and dropped right at the line of scrimmage. Brent, or no, it was Rashawn Parker that got in there that time. The freshman out of Ponca City, Oklahoma, stopping him for no gain. So Rashawn Parker getting started early in his career, true freshman from Ponca City. And then really hasn't played much the last couple of weeks, but had a good week of practice, obviously, and he's been in here quite a bit, making some good plays. All right, second and 10 for Kansas. Seven minutes to go, first quarter. Jayhawks a 6-3 lead in the ball. Meyer working from under center, four receiver set. Pitch out, Cornish, left side. And he's uh, dragged down after a couple of yards. But a good tackle on the play by Alvin Bowen. And that Cyclone defense, other than the one big play that Kansas got, has really played a lot of good snaps. Well, they really have. They've been able to get pressure on the quarterback, number one, and they've been able to stop the run game. Cornish out of there, and McAnderson in, so certainly a passing situation here for Kansas. Third down and eight from their own 32-yard line, 6.27 to go in the quarter. Two receivers to the right, one left. Operating from under center, Kerry Meyer, the redshirt freshman quarterback. It's a four-man rush from Iowa State. Meyer backpedaling, now under pressure and dropped by Sean Moorhead, right at the line of scrimmage, maybe even a loss of a yard on the play. It's a sack for Moorhead, and Kansas will be forced to punt. Well, nice job uh, by Iowa State. Moorhead getting his second sack of the game. It and Meyer, had, the Meyer, Meyer had enough time that time to make a throw to his first target. It was covered, and the pressure got to him inside Brent Curvey, I think, collapsing the pocket. Kyle Tucker will punt for Kansas. Line of scrimmage to the 31. R.J. Sumrall, the return man for Iowa State, after Baum fumbled the last one. High snap, but able to get it is Tucker, and he gets the kick off and keeps it low. And Sumrall comes up to take it at the 36-yard line. Broke a tackle, but he'll be dropped at the 38. He got a couple of yards on the return, but that was it, as it was a risky proposition to even try to return it. Uh, Kansas was down there pretty quickly. 33-yard punt, though, and the Cyclones will have good field position at the 38-yard line. Now they need to do something with it. They need to do something with it. The offense hasn't really done anything yet. They don't have a first down. KU with only one. Protect your new home for an extra five years with Plus 5 Homeowners Electrical Protection Plan. It's simple and it's free. Call 515-284-1046. Don't build your new home without it. Austin Flynn is in there, he's wide left. Moses in the slot left, and under center, Brett Meyer won't set back Josh Johnson, first and 10 from the 38-yard line. And a fake handoff to Johnson. Brett Meyer rolling right, throwing it, caught by Barkema across the 40 to the 45-yard line. As uh, Meyer rolled out and threw it to Barkema, 
running in front of him, and uh, Ben able to make that catch and get some positive yardage. Well, classic bootleg play that time, and an outside linebacker did a good job of putting the pressure on Meyer, actually forced him back, but dragged that tight end, and nice catch by Barkman, picked up a few extra yards after making the catch. Second and three now from the 45-yard line. 4.44 to go, first quarter, Cyclones trail 6-3, and the shotgun, Brett Meyer, looking left. Wide receiver screen, Mila Moses the catch across the 45 and taken down near the 49 yard line. And that should be very close to a first down depending on the mark, I believe he has it. And it was Jerome Kemp and uh, Jake Shermer in on the stop for Kansas. It's enough for a first down at the 49 yard line. Cyclone football is brought to you by the High V Cyhawk series. The rivalry begins at home and every point counts toward one team claiming top honors in this friendly competition. Follow the score at hyvee.com. 4.30 to play first quarter. Iowa State down 6-3 with the football at its own 49-yard line. Brett Meyer from under center, two tight ends in the game. And he fakes a handoff to Johnson. Has protection. Now it breaks down, and he will be sacked. He had some time, but the coverage downfield was good. And Paul Como, the defensive end, finally able to get in there and sack Meyer back at the 41-yard line, 30th time that uh, Iowa State has been sacked this season. Uh, worst in the Big 12, and this is an area Iowa State has got to get better at. If Iowa State's going to win this game today, they've got to protect Brett Meyer. Can't put themselves in these second, I mean, the sacks that are three, four-yard losses don't kill you, but in this case, a sack of eight, eight yards really makes it tough. So brings up second and 18 from the 41-yard line. Especially without Todd Blight and John Davis, your guys that can go down and get 15, 18 yards with some regularity. In the shotgun, Brett Meyer on the second and 18 play from the 41. Four receiver set. Meyer looking, now firing right side, intercepted. As it was intended for Mylon Moses, up with the pick was Akib Tlaib, the uh, fifth interception of the season for him. And he is the Big 12 leader now, moves into a tie for first in the league with his fifth interception of the season. Kansas will take over at the Iowa State 48-yard line. Well, I think it was Marquise Hamilton out there, and Coaches, I think, unhappy with him. He ran the wrong route. As Barney Cotton, uh, you could tell there was something, uh, something went AWOL there because there's no way Brett throws that ball directly to uh, the Kansas defensive back. And my, uh, now we've got a new quarterback in there, Reesing, and he dumps it off on a short pass caught by Fine, the tight end, and he's whipped to the ground by Bowen. A flag comes in at the end of the play. It was a loss of two back to midfield, but on that tackle by Bowen, a flag came out. Face mask, I believe. Looked like he had him around the shoulder pads. No. It's going to be, it may be even a 15 yarder. So I keep to leave that big interception for Kansas. Now we could have a face mask. Personal foul, face mask, number 15, defense. Automatic first down. So good play in terms of getting over there. They kept good pressure on the quarterback. And threw it. Pass was complete for a loss, actually, of about a yard on the play. But the face mask probably assisted the tackle. And KU now with great field position at the Iowa State 33-yard line. I mentioned it briefly, but Todd Reesing, the other freshman quarterback, a true freshman out of Austin, Texas, led the uh, comeback against Colorado a week ago in Kansas's win. He's into the ballgame for the first time. First and 10 from the 33. Reesing a quick pass out to the right side. Caught by Dexton Fields. And another flag comes in as the tackle is made for a loss on the play back to the 35-yard line. This one might be a hold, though, on Kansas. It is. Brian Murph, the receiver, that was guilty of the hold. And didn't even do a very good job of holding because... <laughs> holding. <laughs> Offense. Number eight. 10-yard penalty. We met number six. Yeah, number six, Brian Murph. The Cyclones just ran through that hole. Correct. Number six. Number yeah, you told him, John. Yeah, he must have heard me. <laughs> Randy Crystal, our referee today. That will back it up to the 43-yard line. And uh, bring up first down to 20 
for Kansas. Show your cyclone spirit with licensed apparel and gifts from Size Locker Room in and around Jack Tri Stadium. Size Locker Room can supply any fan with t-shirts, sweatshirts, replica jerseys, car flags, anything and everything you need to show your cyclone pride. Shop online at cyclones.com. First and 20 from the 43. Shotgun snap to Reesing. Under pressure will run with it. And Moorhead brings him down after he gains a few yards up to the 30, uh, down to the Iowa State 37 yard line. So he got six on the run as Reesing scrambled. He's pretty good with his feet. Very quick, you know, a lot of comparisons. He's not tall, but comparisons to Drew Brees, another Austin native. Wearing that number five. Uh, Todd Reesing. He was 7 of 11 for 106 yards. Also ran seven times for 90 yards a week ago in that win over Colorado. Second and 14 from the 37 of Iowa State. Out of the shotgun Reesing. Looking left. Now under pressure. Throws it underneath and it's incomplete. Intended for McAdam. McAderson rather. The fullback. Curvey and Rubin with pressure. You know they're really doing a good job of collapsing. Getting some push up front. Much better than we've seen. Yeah. Really like that Rubin as he just continues to to show some real improvement at that, that tackle spot after playing offense last year, coming in, getting here late. Uh, he's been a pleasant surprise for Iowa State on defense. Third down and 14 for Kansas at the 37 yard line of the Cyclones. This Iowa State defense has been on the field throughout this first quarter, it seems. Offense hasn't been able to get anything generated. Reesing, a five step drop, looking to throw. Under pressure, he'll tuck it away and run across the 35 to the 30, brought down at the 29. An eight yard gain. John banks the stop, but well short of the first down. And we'll see if Kansas attempts a field goal to this strong wind. I doubt it. Yeah, they may certainly be in four down territory if they don't elect to try the field goal. It would be, say, it'd be about 46 yards into a pretty stiff breeze. That's going to be fourth down and six from the 29-yard line. It appears they'll go for it here. His longest make this season has been 43 yards. Fourth down and six, Kansas from the 29-yard line of Iowa State. Jayhawks leading 6-3, 1.20 to go in the quarter. In the shotgun, Todd Reesing. Three receivers set. Reesing drops to throw it. Looking, looking, now finally pumping and throwing deep for the end zone for fine, and it's uh, broken up, I think, by Jason Harris. We'll see. And are they going to rule it a catch or not for fine? He has it in his hands, and the officials are standing around talking to each other. It's either going to be a touchdown or an incomplete pass. Which is it? A Touch. touchdown. Unbelievable. After much discussion, and I'm guessing that Iowa State might want to review this. Reesing had all day to throw it. Stepped up, waved his receiver fine downfield, and he was bobbling the ball, trying to catch it. Jason Harris was battling with it. It might be a catch. It looks like he was able to hang on to that football. The play's under review. And it is being reviewed, and I don't know if Iowa State called for that review or not. I don't think they did. No. So It came from up top. Good. Well, at least they'll take a look at it. Unfortunately, this is not a TV game, so you don't get the four or five angles that no. sometimes can uh, disclose more. You know, the Thank angle that we had, though, looked like he probably won the wrestling battle with it. And, man, that's just that's just two plays right now for Iowa State, John. they are giving up two touchdowns when, I won't say inexcusable, but just plays that shouldn't happen. It was the tight end, Derek Fine, that was battling with Jason Harris, uh, the converted running back for that ball. And they were both laying on the ground, apparently fine, able to keep the ball from touching the ground. That was the ruling on the field as he eventually ended up with it. After review, play stands as called. So a 29-yard touchdown pass from Reesing to Fine makes it 12-3 to in favor of Kansas. And they will kick the extra point coming up here. You know, the defense, John, has played exceptionally well. I mean, terrific, except for two plays today. Yeah, two snaps, but they've been put in position by the offense of uh, kind of oh, have, you know. and, and special teams. Yeah. Webb on to try the point after. And his kick this time is true and through. 107 to go in the quarter, 13 to 3, Kansas in front. And we'll keep it here, so let's take an opportunity to go down to Ben Bruns for the Consumer Credit of Des Moines sideline report. 
Ben, tough, uh, tough first quarter so far for the Cyclones. Well, no doubt. You know, the Iowa State offense at this point has run three plays. Am I wrong? Or, I'm sorry, six plays, two three and outs. And that just doesn't win you football games. You know, this last play, um, they were right. It was a touchdown. I was standing right over here by it. Uh, both guys went up. Both guys came down with possession of the ball. When two men come down in, with possession of the ball, it goes in favor of the offense. So uh, unless the ball touched the ground, which it sure didn't look like from my vantage point that it yeah. did. And that's what we had to wait to see. Yeah. The proper call was made. So, yep. so uh, Iowa State's offense got, has got to get something going. Uh, they've just been abysmal so far here. And they will have to operate into the wind in the second quarter. You know, you take, you know, we've seen you know, good play by Iowa State a lot this season, not sustained for periods of time. And right now we've seen the defense play great except for a couple of plays. And it's been enough to put them in a hole. Webb kicking off into the wind, kicks it well. It's taken by Milan Moses at the six yard line, angling to the right side of the 20 and he's hit and dropped right there. Big hit on the play. At the uh, 20 yard line is where they will mark it. It was McAnderson, the fullback, that came in and made that hit. So Moses gets it back to the 20. A uh, 14 yard return in the Cyclone offense comes back out. Cyclone football is brought to you by Iowa Telecom. Proud to provide home telephone, DSL high speed internet, and Dish Network satellite TV service to over 435 communities in Iowa. Clock. Will start as they mark the ball. 58 seconds to go in this first quarter. 13 to three, Kansas in front. Brett Meyer working with a four receiver set here on first down from the 20 yard line. He'll give it to Josh Johnson trying the right side and brought down no gain on the play. And over there on that left side was Russell Brorson, the defensive end for Kansas, able to make the stop. And did a nice job getting off the block. That's a play Iowa State had success with last week, in particular with Jason Scales. So second and 10 coming up for the offense. Iowa State just 11 passing yards so far in the game and 17 total yards of offense for that Cyclone offense. 97 total offense yards for Kansas. Meyer working from under center now. Three receivers set. Fakes a handoff to Johnson. Rolling to his right. Now pressure comes. Meyer scrambling trying to get out of there. And he's going to be brought down back at the 13 yard line. Another sack. James McClinton finally chased him down. But uh, that will bring us to the end of the first quarter. With the score, 13 to three, Kansas in front. We'll take a break. You're listening to Cyclone Football. Elsewhere in the Big 12, right now it's uh, fourth quarter. Nebraska leading Missouri, 34 to 13. And Texas Tech is out in front of Baylor, 42-14 in the third quarter of that one. The Cyclones really back against the wall now, third and 18. It's again without Davis and Blythe on offense. And facing the wind that were with the wind in the first quarter and the offense just really couldn't get anything done. Yeah, no first down. Well, obviously has one first down. Okay, that's right on that. You did get one, but uh, that's not enough with the wind at your back. Facing third and 18 here from the 12 yard line. Four receivers set in the shotgun, Brett Meyer. Looking to throw. Now he steps up and pumps it over the middle. Caught by RJ Sumrall at the 27 yard line. And that's going to be short. About uh, three or four yards short of the first down. About three yards short. Pretty good coverage there, too. Meyer really got some good protection that time. Plenty of time to that pass play develop. And Cyclones at least bought a little field position, if not the first down. So on to punt will be Brantner now punting into the wind. The return man Jonathan Lamb for Kansas. A fourth down and four from the 26 yard line. Brantner trying to keep it fairly low but the wind will catch it a little bit and Lamb takes it on the run at the 43 yard line across midfield into Iowa State territory and taken down at the 44 yard line a 32 yard punt into the wind for Brantner and Lamb returns it to the Iowa State 44 timeout 14.06 to go second quarter 13-3 Kansas back with more Iowa State football after these messages 13-3 Kansas leads it and the Jayhawks take over the football in Iowa State territory at the 44-yard line after that punt return by Lamb. Terry Meyer back in there, quarterback, hands off to Cornish, and he explodes off the right side for about eight yards. 
to the 36 yard line of Iowa State. That's really the first time the Cornish has had any room to run. He had five carries for five yards in the first quarter. Uh, that time, Bowen. that time you really saw the KU offensive line come off strong and, you know, Cyclone defense has, has played some really good snaps today. They've got this sucking up right now again. On second and three, a give to Cornish again off the right side and got maybe two to the 35-yard line, about a yard shy of the first down. Brent Curvey, the stop for Iowa State. Today's game is brought to you in part by Kinsey. Check out the huge 60-foot, 80-foot, and 90-foot model 3800 forward folding planners at your Kinsey dealer. Now available with a new SDS bulk seed delivery system. It'll be third down and one for Kansas from the 35-yard line of Iowa State. 13-15 to go second quarter. Iowa State trails 13-3. Kerry Meyer back in there, quarterback is under center. Quarterback sneak and he has enough for the first down. As he gets to the 33, and that will move the chains. Meyer running. First down, Kansas. Okay, you alternating quarterbacks each. Now, Meyer and Reesing with a uh, touchdown pass. Both freshmen, Meyer a redshirt freshman out of Pittsburgh, Kansas, and Reesing a True freshman out of Austin, Texas. In the shotgun, Kerry Meyer on first and 10 from the 33 of Iowa State. He throws it out left side. It's caught by Sharp, and he's hit at the 30 hard by Berg and dropped at the 29. It's a gain of four on the play. Cyclone football is brought to you by the Iowa Propane Gas Association. Propane, exceptional energy. First catch of the day for Jake Sharp coming out of the backfield. Curvey hustling down the line of scrimmage. Bowen make the tackle after Caleb Berg had the first hit. So it'll bring up second down and seven from the 29 yard line. We'll call it a gain of three. And under center is Kerry Meyer. Meyer fakes a handoff, rolling to his right. And throws it on the run, and it's broken up by Jason Harris at the 12-yard line intended for Dexton Fields. Nice job by Jason Harris. That time was a, once again, rolled Meyer out to his right, threw it on the run. And Harris with a very good angle that time as the receiver dragging across the field, crossing. Harris got a hand on that one. 12.01 to go. Second quarter, 13-3. Kansas leads. Iowa State's... Defense trying to get a stop here. Kansas facing third and seven from the 29-yard line of the Cyclones. Three receivers set in the shotgun. Kerry Meyer takes the snap. They come with a blitz. They pick it up. He throws it out right side. Caught by Marcus Henry. Broke a tackle at the 23. Got the first down. And he's tripped up at the 16-yard line. He was very close to the first down to begin with. Right at about the line that he needed. But he somehow kept his balance and broke a tackle of Alvin Bowen and then got forward for about another eight or nine yards. Oh, well, big third down conversion for the Jayhawks. So Marcus Henry with a good effort and it's first and 10, Kansas at the 16 yard line of Iowa State. In the shotgun, Kerry Meyer. Makes the handoff to Cornish, he'll try to run it left side. He's brought down for a loss of one on the play. Back to the 17-yard line. It was Alvin Bowen that got the stop. Well, Cyclones had a host of people back there read it well, including Tyrone McKenzie. He gave good support from the inside, Alvin Bowen from the outside. So to bring up second and 11 for Kansas from the 17-yard line. 11-10 to go, second quarter, 13-3, Kansas leads. Two receivers to the right side of the formation, one to the left, and the shotgun, Kerry Meyer on second and 11. High snap, he gets it, hands it off to Cornish up the middle big hole, across the 10 to the 5, and all the way down to the 3 where he fumbled the football. It pops out at the end of the play, and we'll see who got on top of it. I think Iowa State's got it, John. I thought so too, but no signal yet. It is Iowa State's football at the two-yard line. I think it was Alvin Bowen. Oh, John was, Banks. Oh, John Banks on the bubble recovery. I think he might have been down. So a break there for the Cyclone defense as they uh, 
at Kansas driving it again. But the fumble by Cornish trying to gain extra yards at the end of the play and the Cyclones take it over at the two yard line. Now the offense back out there, Brett Meyer. We'll have Josh Johnson and Ryan Cook on the field in the I formation on this first and 10 from the two. 10.42 to go. First half, Iowa State down 13-3. The give to Johnson off the left side he goes across the five and out to the eight yard line. Good run by Johnson. Be able to pick up close to six. The market closer to the seven, it appears. And Jake Shermer made the stop for Kansas. Cyclone football is brought to you by Pioneer. Find out how you can participate in the new Pioneer field mapping program. For more information, contact your local Pioneer sales representative or log on at pioneer.com slash growing point. A pretty good block in that time at, out of the I formation lead block by Ryan Cook. Market at the seven, so gain of five for Johnson. And now second and five from the seven. Meyer rolling to his right. Got a block, threw it out there for Flynn. Has the catch at the 13-yard line. It gets forward to the 14 where he's run out of bounds. But that will be a Cyclone first down. A nice gain of seven yards. Holt and Kemp in on the stop. But Meyer able to complete one to Flynn. The Cyclone defense has forced two turnovers here. I would say it has three points, but if they don't get any points out of this one, it's probably saved from seven. Good first down, though, to get this drive started. 9.54 to go in the second quarter. 13-3 Kansas leads. Iowa State first and 10 from its 14-yard line. Under center now, Brett Meyer. Rolling to his left, pressure coming. And Meyer able to dance out of that pocket and throw it on the run, and he just throws it away as the pressure was coming again. And uh, McClinton really got a good surge right at the start of that play. You know, one of the things you miss when you don't have Todd Blythe and John Davis, the size of the receiver, you know, 6'5", 6'4", guys, 6'6", six, six out there that are really big targets, easier for Todd Blythe to spot, or for Brett Meyer to spot. And he certainly has the habit of going to those guys. The guys that are replacing them, not quite as big of targets out there. Second and 10 coming up for Iowa State from its own 14-yard line. And those guys certainly don't have the experience. Two receivers left, one right, and the shotgun, Brett Meyer. Kansas showing blitz. Meyer takes the snap. Looking to his right, now has to throw it on the run. Caught by Ryan Cook at the 19 and surges forward to the 21 yard line. He'll pick up seven. Mike Rivera the stop. It'll bring up a third down and three for Iowa State. Well that time KU didn't blitz, but they were able to get pressure with the front four. But just a little check down by Brett Meyer to Ryan Cook who makes a catch and really fights hard for the extra yardage. So the Cyclones digging out of that hole where they started at the two yard line. This is the best the offense has looked. They got a couple of, uh, well, they got one first down, now facing a third down and three from the 21 yard line. Two receivers to the left side of the formation, one to the right, and in the shotgun, Brett Meyer. Again, Kansas with a bunch of guys up on the line of scrimmage. Here they come. Meyer throws it left, and it's overthrown over the head of Austin Flynn as Meyer took a shot right as he threw it, and it will be fourth down. Uh, just too much pressure on Brett Meyer that time as he was hoping Austin Flynn would break his route out to the right, or out to the left, rather. Brander will punt it, and Jonathan Lamb with a good return last time, standing at his own 45-yard line. Brander punting into the wind. Line of scrimmage, the 21. Good snap by Purvis, and Brantner hits it well. Lamb taking it at the 44-yard line, again on the run across midfield, and again to the 43-yard line of Iowa State. A very similar return to the last one as Lamb able to take that low punt on the run. Yeah, and actually getting it outside, the outside stinger on that side. Cyclone has got to do a better job of maintaining containment with that outside guy. Baum and Bowen made the stop, but Kansas takes over the ball, but first to time out on the field. 8.49 to go in the half. 13-3 Kansas, you're listening to Cyclone. And they take over the 43 of Iowa State, leading 13-3, 8.40 to go in this first half. Kerry Meyer stays in their quarterback, a little shovel pass inside to Cornish, has a little bit of room, gets across the 40, and he's tripped up at the 37-yard line of Iowa State. John Banks made the stop at a gain of six on that familiar KU shovel pass. And that time, it really let the play develop a little bit longer than normal, almost like uh, a screen pass but picked up, looked like it was going to be some really big yardage, but Cyclones closed it down, held it to six yards. 
8 12 to go in the half and Iowa State down 10 and Kansas on the move here inside the 40 yard line at the 37 facing a second and four the give to Cornish off the left side driving forward and has the first down it would appear as he got about four yards on the pickup maybe five and uh, Tyrone McKenzie Rashawn Parker in on the stop at the 32 yard line but it is enough for Kansas first down. Cyclone football is brought to you by Farm Bureau Financial Services. From auto, home, and business insurance to life insurance and annuities, Farm Bureau Financial Services can help you through all stages of your life. Under eight minutes to play. First and 10 from the 32-yard line of Iowa State. And the shotgun carry Meyer. And he hands it off to Cornish. Up the middle he goes across the 30 to the 25 where Berg hits him hard and brings him down at the 24, close to the 23. A gain of about eight on that run. And Kansas starting to get that ground game going. They give it nine plus here. Yeah, they mark it all the way to the 23. And they're going to come out and measure this. So Cornish, I think he's going to be short by about half a yard or three quarters of a yard. Well, while they're measuring, let's pause 10 seconds to allow our stations to identify themselves. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. break ID ID yeah yeah Seven to play, and uh, Cyclones down by ten. It's not been a good first half for Iowa State. Two receivers to the right side, one to the left. Meyer quickly to the line of scrimmage. Quarterback sneak, second effort has him the first down as he gets to the 22, and they will move the chains. We owe you that ID. Let's pause ten seconds to allow our stations to identify themselves. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. Team first and 10 at the 21 yard line of Iowa State. Backs in the eye behind Meyer on this first down play. Two receivers to the right, one left. And he'll hand it off inside to McAnderson, the fullback, who drives forward close to the 15 yard line. Pick up of close to six. And Sean Moorhead and John Banks made the stop. They'll mark it at the 16, so a five yard gain for McAnderson. Okay, you just really starting to get the run game going a little bit right now. Iowa State was aggressive and, and really did a great job earlier, but you know what, you're down 13 to three. One of the keys to victory we talked about earlier, John, remember it's a 60 minute game. You know, hang in there, keep trying to make plays. The offense can come to life. From the shotgun, Kerry Meyer rolling to his right and throwing on the run, and it's caught inside the 10 yard line by Jonathan Lamb at the nine. It'll be first and goal for Kansas. Lamb had to go down to his knees to make the catch, but was able to do it. KU first and goal at the Iowa State nine yard line. Since 1985, the Iowa Lottery has raised more than a billion dollars for state programs, including education, natural resources, and economic development. When you play the Iowa Lottery, it's fun for you and funds for the state. Four receiver set right here for Kansas at the nine yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Meyer takes the snap, now it's a quarterback draw. Up the middle he goes across the five, diving forward to the three, as Meyer picked up six yards on the run. It'll be second and goal from the three yard line of Iowa State. He makes a nice little move. He's got some pretty good wheels back there. Both these freshman quarterbacks for KU, uh, certainly more mobile than Adam Barman. Uh, Kerry Meyer, 71 carries, 278 yards on the season and five rushing touchdowns. He's only uh, played in five games and he has five rushing touchdowns on the season. Second down and goal from the three yard line. 5.30 to go in the half. Iowa State down 13 to three. Kerry Meyer quickly to the line of scrimmage. One back set. He 
Fakes a pitch, now looks to the left side of the end zone, throws it up there, caught by Derek Fine for the touchdown. The tight end in the back of the end zone, they fake the pitch to Cornish, and then threw it back to Derek Fine, the tight end. And Brent Curve actually back there trying to cover him. But KU now with three touchdown passes here in the first half, and Iowa State down 19 to three. 5.23 left, Webb will try the point after. And the kick on the way, and it is good. 20 to three, Kansas leads it. 5.23 remaining in what has been an ugly first half for Iowa State. Time out on the field, back with more Iowa State football after these messages. This is in this first half, and the Jayhawks will kick it off with the wind at their back. R.J. Sumrall and Mylon Moses, the return men for Iowa State. Iowa State struck first with a field goal by Brett Culbertson after a Kansas fumble. Kansas with 20 unanswered points since. Low line drive kick taken by Mylon Moses. No, it won't be as he lets it go through the end zone. It was about five yards deep anyway, and Mylon probably wouldn't have been able to run it out, so they will start after the touchback on the 20-yard line. Let's go down to Ben Bruns for the consumer credit of Des Moines sideline report. Ben, still 5.18 to go in this first half. You'd like to see some signs of life here before the break. Yeah, you'd like to see some signs of life because I don't know what I'm going to say at my halftime interview. <laughs> this, is, this is rough so far here, guys. I mean, Iowa State's offense has got to get something going. They, they've, they've put the pressure on the defense all year long, and they need to step up now and get a drive together. Brett Meyer under center on first down. Gives to Josh Johnson off the left side across the 25 to the 26. Looks Josh like the market closer to the 25, though, as McClinton made the stop, a five-yard gain for Johnson. Uh, Johnson on the day, now five carries for 10 yards. Iowa State on the day, only 47 total yards of total offense. The market right on the 25-yard line. Three receivers to the right side of the formation. Meyer in the shotgun here, rolling to his right. And throwing it for Moses, who comes back to make the catch at the 45-yard line and is out of bounds at the 46. But it'll be a cyclone first down, a gain of 21 on the pass from Meyer to Moses. Yeah, nice job by Moses. That time Meyer throws it behind him where he can make the reaction to the ball. And the defensive back continued running. So good job by Milan playing the ball that time and Iowa State with the first down. They're going to mark it at the uh, 45. Yeah, Milan actually stepped out of bounds as soon as he caught the ball, tried to run afterward, and was tackled a little bit farther upfield, but they spot it right at the 45. Under center now, Brett Meyer, a 20-yard gain that time. Here's the handoff. It goes to Johnson, and uh, driving forward for a couple of yards, maybe a yard and a half. Jerome Kemp, the stop for Kansas. They will mark it at the 46, so just a gain of one for Johnson. Four oh seven to go in the half. Kansas leading twenty to three. I was straight trying to piece together a drive here before halftime. Two receivers left, one right, and the shotgun Brett Meyer on second down and nine from the Iowa State forty-six. Here they come with a blitz. Meyer over the middle to Cook, wide open at midfield, across the 45 to the 40, and inside the 35-yard line of Kansas. The market right at the 35. Cyclones picked up the blitz, so did a good job. Pretty good coverage downfield. Once again, this time, Ryan Cook makes the catch on the check down and does a great job picking it up. Justin Thornton making the tackle. A 19-yard gain from Meyer to Cook. Iowa State first and 10 at the 35-yard line of the Jayhawks. 3.34 to go in this first half. Meyer working from under center. Austin Flynn is wide right. Two receivers left. A handoff goes to Johnson. Off the right side he goes and uh, twisting forward for about three yards to the 32-yard line. Clock ticking, 3.17 to go. Jerome Kemp the stop for Kansas. Cyclone football is brought to you by Dodge. You can take life as it comes, or you can grab life by the horns. Dodge. The Cyclones now still not getting a lot out of the running game. Just a little bit. 
and the passing game's been spotty. But Cycles with a drive here, started at their own 20. Second and seven from the 32-yard line of Kansas. In the shotgun, Brett Meyer, three receivers set. Meyer, a quarterback draw, running to the right side, and he's going to be taken down for a gain of maybe a yard on the play to the 31. And that's going to bring up third down, Anthony Webb, the stop. There's just no hole there. Now he kind of bounced it out to the outside. As KU did a pretty nice job reading that play. 2.40 to go in the half. Iowa State trying to get something here before the break. They'll face third down and six from the 31-yard line of Kansas. And operating into this wind, you got to believe it's four down territory. Oh, so no question about it. Try to get a good I mean, chunk of it at least here. I mean, that's dictated by both the score and the win. In the shotgun, Brett Meyer, three receivers to the left side of the formation. Now the shift Flynn over to the right. Meyer takes the snap, rolling right under big pressure, throws a flag on the play, and the pass was to Josh Johnson, who did not make the catch at the 26-yard line. They ruled that he was unable to catch it, but a flag in the backfield. That was going to be a hold on Scott Stevenson, I believe. And as that big pressure came, and yeah, nearly a tackle by Stevenson. He reached out and tried to grab the jersey, the Kansas defender that was busting through on Brett Meyer. So if KU takes it, it would bring up third down and about 17. If they decline it, it would be fourth and about six. Yeah. Randy Crystal, the referee. Holding offense number 63. The penalties declined. Fourth down. Well, gives Iowa State one chance to pick up the first down here, but they will go for it here, I believe, on. And a timeout called by Brett Meyer. 2.36 to go in the half, 20 to 3 Kansas leads. Back with more Iowa State football after these messages. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. Operating into the wind in this second quarter and trailing 20 to 3 with 2.36 to go. Well, a big play. If Iowa State wants to really stay in this football game, you know, score here. You know, you're right back in. You get the ball to start the second half. But if you can't score here, you just got uh, just so much to make up. Although, as we talked about earlier, you know, KU has given up some big leads. But Cyclones right now have to show some real signs of life. So a fourth down and sixth play. And they still have the timeout coordinator out on the field, so it'll be a moment before Iowa State's able to snap it. They will line up, though, with two receivers to the right side of the formation and two to the left. And Brett Meyer working from the shotgun with a Ryan Cook offset next to him to help protect. A fourth down and six play from the 31-yard line of Kansas. From the shotgun, Meyer rolling to his left, throwing it on the run, incomplete, intended for Austin Flynn, a diving effort by Austin. But Meyer was pressured again, yeah, and Akeem Tlaib had the coverage on that play for Kansas. Just kind of threw it up there that time off his back foot as he was backpedaling and rolling to his left. Cyclones just not doing a good enough job protecting Meyer that time, and, and I think Brett's starting to feel that pressure a little bit early. And now Kansas gets the ball back with 2.31 to go in the half, leading 20-3 at their own 31-yard line. And all three of their timeouts remaining. Two receivers to the right side, one to the left. Kerry Meyer staying in there at quarterback. We saw Reesing briefly, and he played well. Meyer hands it off to Cornish. He stopped for a loss. Back to the 29-yard line. It was Tyrone McKenzie in from his linebacker spot to make the stop, a two-yard loss on the play. Saw a lot of that early in this game from the Cyclone defense, able to make some big plays defensively, but he continued to be put in some bad situations, and then gave up a couple of big plays themselves. Right. Under two minutes to play, first half, 20 to three, Kansas. Second and 12 coming up from the 29 yard line. Meyer in the shotgun now. Harry Meyer, backpedaling. Now pressure comes, he throws, it's caught by Dexton Fields at the 34 yard line, and he's driven back by Bowen. But it is a completion and a gain of five for Kansas. Iowa State takes a timeout, third down. And what about seven? Iowa State would like another shot at it. Yep. So the Cyclones use their second timeout. Timeout. Iowa State at 138. 138. So they'll put 138 on the clock. That's five seconds. So now defense has to make the play here. KU would have an opportunity. 
to continue a drive. So, but you, know, you got to roll the dice here if you're Dan McCarney. You try to get the football back. You know, KU has really seized momentum in this game, and I think that's a, just a huge factor right now in, in the pressure they're getting on Brett Meyer and the signs of life are starting to show in their run game. Early on, it was a great start for Iowa State. Kayla Bird recovered a fumble that was forced by Alvin Bowen. Cyclones got the ball in Kansas territory. Brett Culbertson connected on a 36-yard field goal. Iowa State led it 3-0. Then Ryan Baum fumbled a punt return in Kansas territory. Jayhawks took over, and Kerry Meyer found Brian Murr 51 yards for a touchdown. Iowa State blocked the extra point, but it was 6-3 in favor of Kansas. Then after an interception by Brett Meyer, a 29-yard pass from Reesing to Fine uh, for another Kansas touchdown. And then uh, Banks recovering a fumble, which killed a Kansas drive. But then after they got it back, Meyer found Fine for a three-yard touchdown to make it 20-3. to And that's where we stand right now. Third and seven from the 34-yard line. In the shotgun, Kerry Meyer. Meyer looking to his right, pumping, now looking deep and firing that way for John Lamb, and he has the catch inside the 25-yard line to the 23-yard line of Iowa State. On the coverage was Jason Harris, the safety, but Lamb made a diving catch. Well, that time they faked the little receiver screen out to the right and then threw deep to that side, trying to suck in the Iowa State defense. It's a job well done. Ball thrown pretty well. Jason Harris beat by about half a step, and KU with a First down at the Iowa State 23. And a minute 31 still to play. And all three timeouts. Kerry Meyer from the shotgun now. Three receivers set. Meyer looking to his right, throwing that way incomplete. Intended for the tight end, Derek Fine. It was thrown behind him. And with 1.22 to go, the clock stops. Iowa State gambled on by trying to stop the clock on that third and seven. That KU comes up with the big play. A 43 yard completion from Meyer to Lamb. Now in the shotgun, Kerry Meyer on second and 10 from the 23. Meyer looking left, has protection, fires that way. It's caught by Henry and Marcus Henry inside the 15 yard line, taken down at the 14, about a yard shy of the first down, I believe. And they're saying he was out of bounds to stop the clock. Either that or to measure. And well, they gave him a pretty good spot again. Yeah, closer to the 13-yard line, and so they will bring the chains all the way across the field to measure this. 113 to play in the half, 20 to three in favor of Kansas. Chain gang getting a workout here as they go from one side of the field to the other. And they're about a six inches shy of a first down. No well, real opportunity for KU to do. I mean, they've got time's really not a factor. You know, when you're at the 13 yard line with 113 to play and you have all three timeouts, you can run, you can throw. Uh, Kansas up to the line of scrimmage here, but the chains still aren't off the field. And they want to get the ball snapped as quickly as they can. 1.13 to go. The clock will start once the ball is spotted. And they're waiting to get the chain set up, and now they will signal to go ahead. And the clock starts. Meyer, a quarterback sneak. I don't know that he made it. Well, it's close, and they might have to measure it again. But Meyer he, on the sneak. I don't think the market just only, inside the 13. I think he's got yeah. it. If he's inside the 13, that should get to it because there's is it only about six shy on the previous play. And it is a first down for Kansas. So they will have first and 10 from the 13 yard line of Iowa State. 106 to go in the half. Kansas still has all three timeouts left. They do start the clock as it's down to a minute. Breaking the huddle, Kerry Meyer, two receivers right, one left. And Meyer looking to his left, now firing that way, caught by Lamb at the four-yard line, about a yard shy of the first down, and with 46 seconds to go in the 
half. Let's see if Kansas uses a timeout. They're going to get right back up to the line of scrimmage. It's 40 seconds to go now. Meyer in the shotgun, second and one from the four. Meyer looking left. Now pumping and running and stopped short of the first down at the line of scrimmage, the four yard line, and Kansas will use a timeout with 29 seconds to go. Kansas, is their first time out of the half. Well, that time trying to hit somebody in the left side of the end zone. Reckles with some pretty good coverage back there, and they really covered up well once Meyer started to run it. Let's go down to Ben Bruns for the Consumer Credit of Des Moines sideline report. And Ben, might not seem like a lot right now, but I'm sure that the Cyclone defense wants to keep Kansas out of the end zone here, at least hold them to a field goal. Now, Iowa State will get the ball first in the second half, and like Eric said, you got to play 60 minutes. Yeah, you do, you know, and Kansas has given up some big leads this year, but, you know, Iowa State uh, has to has to stop them here, has to figure out a way, take, a, take the ball away, get a play, something because uh, points have, have been scarce so far this year for the Iowa State offense with the exception of a triple overtime game. And uh, you, you really have to uh, think that in order for Iowa State to come back with all the injuries offensively, it's going to be very difficult. So uh, this is a big play in the game. Big series, 29 seconds. Just 91 yards of total offense for Iowa State in this half on 26 plays. Kansas 41 plays for 247 yards. 18 first downs. There's a 10, Eric. A 10. 10. 10 first downs for Kansas, four for Iowa State. All right, big play, third down and one from the four-yard line. Kerry Meyer under center. A one receiver set. He goes in motion. That's Dexton Fields. They're going to pitch it to Anderson. He's McAnderson is going to try to throw it. Now he runs, and he'll take it in for the touchdown. It was going to be a fullback option pass. McAnderson had the... Receivers covered up. He just tucked it away and ran it in for the touchdown. Well, he was going to throw it back that time to Meyer. But he was covered by Jesse Smith, but no backside support. And he just runs it back into the end zone. A four-yard touchdown run for Brandon McAnderson, the fullback. And with 23 seconds to go in the half, Scott Webb will try the point after. And the kick on the way, it is good. 27 to 3. Kansas leading Iowa State with 23 seconds to go in the half. And this has gone from bad to worse. It has gone. Yeah, it's it's bad. That's about all you can say right now. Anything that could go wrong has gone wrong, uh, both in terms of injuries and in terms of, of the play on the field today, John. Just, you know, just... So a few good plays here and there. Defense, you know, despite giving up 250 yards, they really gave Iowa State a chance early in the game. But the special teams and offense just have not really done their part today. So Jayhawks will kick off with 23 seconds. And interesting to see what goes on in that locker room at halftime. Webb will kick off with the wind at his back. Mylon Moses, R.J. Summerall, the return men for Iowa State. And Webb booms it. And it'll go through the end zone on the fly. Cyclones will get it at the 20-yard line, trailing 27-3. And 18 seconds left. Well, that roll the dice, you called the timeout, and I think it was a good call on third and seven. So trying to get some momentum back before halftime. Unfortunately, Kansas yeah, comes out, goes with a pump and go to John Lamb in a 43-yard completion, set up that touchdown. And now Kansas, a huge lead right before halftime. Backs in the eye behind Brett Meyer, and he will hand it off to Josh Johnson. And he got about three yards on the run, and that will bring us to halftime. At the break, Kansas leads it 27 to three over Iowa State. Let's go down to Ben Bruns for the Dan McCartney halftime interview. Coach, uh, frustrating first half of football, but you know the defense came out, played well early. The offense really has to get something going in this football game. What do you have to do in the second half offensively? Well, we just got to execute, Bruns. You know, we turned it over twice, once with a punt, once with the interception. We didn't get one of our receivers didn't get the audible, and we were supposed to run a slant. And uh, defensively. 
we just got to make some plays when we get there. We got two takeaways, and we got to come back. Runs, there's a lot of pride in this program, and we got to come out and show it in the second half and play our tails off. Good luck, Coach. Thanks a lot. The Dan McCartney Halftime Interview has been brought to you by Farm Bureau and Walmart, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Iowa, an independent licensee of the Blue Cross and Blue Shield Association. Get the best of both great Farm Bureau service and great coverage from the Blues. We're at halftime with the score, Kansas 27, Iowa State 3. Bob Foster will be back with a halftime report in a couple of minutes. This is the Cyclone Network. Kansas will kick off to start the second half. And Kansas elects to take the win in the fourth quarter. So they will kick off into the wind here in the third. Well, the feeling that, you know, well, they've been able to move the ball both directions, really. Yeah. The wind has not really been that big of a factor. It's kind of died down, actually, as this game has gone on. It was blowing pretty hard before the game. Webb will kick it off. And he hits it well. Mylon Moses has it go over his head and through the back of the end zone. So a touchback into the wind for Webb. And Iowa State will start at the 20. Even the kicker with some real momentum here for the Jayhawks. Breaking the action is your chance to grab a cold Bud Light. The refreshingly smooth taste of Bud Light, always worth it. Well, let's see what Iowa State was able to do at halftime. See if they can come out with some real fire on offense. And who knows, maybe they'll just go to the, their two minute offense. They're going to start out with five wide receivers. Brett Meyer will work from an empty backfield out of the shotgun. Three receivers right to left. Meyer looking to his left and throwing that way. Caught by Milan Moses. Cuts back to the 30, 35. Moses to the 40, 45, and to the 50-yard line. A gain of 30, 31 almost on the first play of the uh, second half for Iowa State. And a nice shot by Milan Moses catching that ball and makes a nice spin move back to the inside. And had some real running room. Uh, what a great story Milan Moses has been this year. And You've got to be happy for he and his family. Great family. First and 10, Iowa State at midfield. And Brett Meyer in the shotgun. Looking to the right, wide receiver screen caught by Moses. And he's taken down right at the line of scrimmage by Rivera, the linebacker, who is really very fast for a guy his size. Yeah, like Rivera at 6'3", 250, and he moves well. Sophomore and able to get out make that play that time ball thrown just a little bit behind Milan just screwed the timing up just a little bit enough to allow Rivera time to get out there and, and make a good tackle for maybe a loss of half a yard again no running back in the game now five receivers and in the shotgun Brett Meyer on second and ten from midfield Meyer takes the snap looking to his right throws caught by Moses again inside the 45 to the 43 yard line a gain of seven and maybe this is the best strategy for Iowa State. Just go ahead and air it out every time. Well, the run game really hasn't gotten them much at all. So Iowa State says, you know what? Brett Meyer's probably the best player we've got right now. Let's just see what he can do. And that time, KU coming with the blitz. Meyer stands in there, able to deliver on the slant. Fourth catch for Moses. And third down and three now from the 43-yard line of Kansas. In the shotgun, Meyer looking to his right. Has protection, now he'll tuck it away and run, and he dives for the first down to the 37-yard line. They'll mark it at the 38. Well, some of these marks have been questionable, I'd say, but they get it to the 38, a gain of five for Brett Meyer, and the Cyclones move the chains. Yeah, nice job by Brett. Seeing his initial receiver not there, thinks he can pick up the first down and does. So first and 10 from the 38-yard line of Kansas. And Meyer will work from under center. Josh Johnson back in there. Two receivers to the left, one right. They'll give it to Johnson off the right side, across the 35, breaks a tackle and gets across the 30 before he's run out of bounds. Good run by Josh Johnson, the freshman, to the 29-yard line of Kansas. A gain of nine. A nice job by Josh Johnson putting on a little burst there. That time able to break away from the tackle of middle linebacker Rivera. Almost 10 on that run for Johnson. Just about a half yard shy of the first down. Cyclone football is brought to you by Farm Credit Services of America. Everything you need to grow. Second and one from the 28, 29 yard line of Kansas. From the shotgun, Meyer. And uh, Johnson, a good job picking up a blitz. Meyer rolling to his left and pumping, now throwing, and in a diving effort by Flynn. But it was out of bounds and incomplete. And. Uh, so the Cyclones taking a shot downfield there on that second and one play, and pretty good job by Josh Johnson picking up that blitz. 
Yep, very, very good job by Josh. Still got flushed out of the pocket. Austin Flynn doing a nice job working out there on the outstanding corner, Akib Talib of the Jayhawks. Came back, though, did a good job coming back for the ball, but the ball thrown just out of bounds. Ryan Cook in there, third down, a yard to go. It's almost about a half yard, really. Meyer under center, and he'll give it to Cook off the right side, and he's hit, and I believe he has the first down, though, on his forward progress. Kansas claiming that the ball popped out, but I think it was after the play. No. I, I, I think it's Iowa State's fault. I would not no. seem to indicate. Yeah, they are going to give the ball to Kansas. Oh, brother. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Eric, I didn't. Was, see, I didn't see the fumble. Yeah. We'll have to look and see if we can get a replay on this at all. But Iowa State had the necessary yardage for the first down, but apparently it popped out of Ryan Cook's possession, and Kansas recovers. And it's been that kind of day. And now they may be reviewing this. Well, this is a coach's challenge. We haven't seen a replay yet up here. Correction, just got buzzed. <laughs> okay, so not a coaching challenge. No, he just got buzzed. So uh, we will see what happens. Uh, we have not seen a replay up here, so. And I don't think we will either. I don't think we'll ever show it in the booth. They usually don't. We get the same feed as the scoreboard has, and when they won't show it to the crowd, so. Uh, it'll be just the guy in the replay booth that gets a look at this. We never even saw a replay at all. So well, we never saw the fumble in the first place. No, no, nope. it was so on the side away from us. So play. let's go down to Ben Bruns. Maybe he got a glance at it. Ben, let's uh, have the consumer credit of Des Moines sideline report. Did you get a look at all? Guys, unfortunately, I was uh, not able to see what happened on that last play. But you know, obviously, this is a huge play in the in the football game for Iowa State if they have any chance to get back in the deal. So uh, a good job by Dan McCartney calling a challenge. And then uh, thankfully, well, here's the official. After video review, the play is confirmed fumble. First down. And then he pointed the wrong way. There is no timeout, no timeout. <laughs> Kansas ball. Oh, well, he couldn't have messed that up any worse than he did. First of all, he said uh, the play is confirmed as called. Then points the wrong way. Then says there's no timeout, which there is. If it was a coaching challenge. Well, it wasn't. He, got, he said he got buzzed. Okay, that's right. Buzzed, so that's there was, right. There was no. All right, coaches I messed challenge. it up. I okay. messed it up. Oh, they missed <laughs> badly as it could get messed up. Well, they both did. <laughs> well, all right. Meyer will work from under center as uh, Kansas gets the ball at the 27-yard line and just uh, before they start player Dan McCartney asking for an explanation and getting one. But uh, just you know, a th that would have been the third first down of this opening drive of the second half and you're thinking well maybe get you know, find a way to get back in this ball game. But mm -hmm. you know the turnover third for Iowa State today one on a fumbled punt and then interception and now fumbled by Ryan Cook and a pitch out to Cornish on first down trying the right side and getting forward all the way to the 34 yard line a gain of seven for John Cornish. Did a, pretty good, bow in the stop. did a pretty good job on Cornish in the first half. He had 11 carries, 41 yards, well under his average, which is over five, five yards per carry. Cornish, a thousand yard rusher through the first nine Jayhawk games. He got seven on that run, second and three for Kansas from its own 34 yard line. Second down and three. Shotgun snap to Meyer. He hands it off to McAnderson. He's hit and continues to drive forward very close to the first down. He was hit right at the line of scrimmage. And they're not even going to measure. They're already saying move the chains. It is a, a first down for the Jayhawks. Good second effort by McAnderson. Everyone wins when they play safe. Mid-American Energy, obsessively, relentlessly at your service. First and 10 from the 38 yard line. In the shotgun Meyer looking to his right and throwing that way caught by Jake Sharp across the 40 to the 43. It was Brent Curvey that made the stop but a pick up a five yards. The cycling defense had some real spring in their step I thought early in the ball game John and as things have gone south. You kind of tend to lose that. That's just human nature. Brandon Hunley is in the game for Iowa State, along with Caleb Berg, a 
the safety spots. Bryce Broxmas back in there at defensive end. Hand off goes to Cornish, right side. He is hit and dropped. It was Tyrone McKenzie with a huge hit. Yeah, that time a, a blitz well timed by the strong safety Caleb Berg turned him inside right into Tyrone McKenzie who had a hit drove him back kind of a reminiscent of a Tim Dobbins type hit one yard gain before that collision and McKenzie with a highlight reel type of play but now third down and four coming up for Kansas from its own 44 yard line. Meyer will work from the shotgun two receivers to the left one right. Meyer takes the snap, has protection, throws it out left side, caught by Brian Murph near midfield. He has the first down and gets into Iowa State territory to the 47. That time looks over the center of the field. A nice look off and then out to that left flat to Murph. First down, Jake. So third down conversion. Meyer has gone almost the whole way. Reesing did come in for a series and threw a touchdown pass for Kansas. But it's been Kerry Meyer most of the way. KU 7 of 11 on third downs, John. First and 10 from the 47 of Iowa State. And the shotgun, Kerry Meyer. Two receivers to the right, one left. He will hand it off to John Cornish. And he's hit and met for about a yard. But uh, gang tackled. McKenzie was in there along with Sean Moorhead. Mentioned 7 of 11 on third down conversions for the Jayhawks. They're also 1 of 1 on fourth down. And that was a big one. Touchdown pass. It looked like Iowa State was going to hold them once again. So at the 46-yard line of Iowa State, it'll be second and nine for Kansas. 9.20 to go, third quarter. 27 to three, Kansas leads. Five receivers set here for the Jayhawks. Kerry Meyer in the shotgun. Meyer looking to his left now. He'll run with it, and he's hit and dropped after uh, no gain on the play. I lost a yard. Bryce Broxma got to him, and there was others as well that were in on that play as uh, they tried a quarterback draw, but Cyclones read it well. well. Good job by Broxma reading that, coming up down the line from his end spot to close it up. It is a loss of a yard on the play to the 47, so it'll be third down and 10 for Kansas. In the shotgun, Kerry Meyer, two receivers right, one left. Meyer takes the snap, drops back in the pocket. Now he'll try to run out of there, and he's dropped for a sack back at the 49-yard line as Moorhead and Curvey. Yeah, Sean Moorhead and Brent Curvey, the two sack leaders for this Iowa State defense, combined for the sack that time. And Kansas will be forced to punt the football. A good job stiffening. Still, still playing tough. Third time this game that Moorhead has been involved in a sack. He had two sacks last week. He's getting up there among the Big 12 leaders in that category, along with Curvey. And punting will be Kyle Tucker. In the line of scrimmage, the 49 of Iowa State. Punting into the wind. And a fair catch called by R.J. Sumrall at the 15-yard line. And that's where the Cyclones will start. Timeout on the field. 7.41 to go third quarter, 27-3. Kansas leads back with more Iowa State football after these messages. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. In this uh, third quarter, 27-3, Kansas leads. Let's pause 10 seconds to allow our, well, we'll, we'll hold off on that break because uh, they are up to the line of scrimmage. So we'll get you an ID after this play. Iowa State down 27-3 with the ball at its own 15-yard line, first and 10. Brett Meyer under center here. He'll give it to Josh Johnson off the right side. Got about three yards. Let's pause for identification. You're listening to the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. Three yards for Josh Johnson on the carry. 14 carries for, what is it? I can't read it from this far away, Eric. What do you got there for Josh Johnson? 10 carries, 30 yards. 10 carries for 30 yards on the day. Second and seven from the 18. Five receivers set here. Brett Meyer out of the shotgun, flushed out of the pocket, rolling to his right and throwing on the run. Summerall caught it, but he was out of bounds, and it'll bring up third down. Once again, Wayne pressure. Wilder. A little, pressure. Gets flushed out, and Brett runs to his right and 
runs into some pressure from the guy uh, on the outside, kind of running right into the pressure that time. So third down and seven coming for Iowa State from the 18 yard line. Moses and Sumrall wide right to the left side, Flynn and Hamilton. Out of the shotgun, Meyer rolling to his right under pressure. And Meyer throwing it at the last second, a juggling catch by Flynn, well, but Meyer had stepped out of bounds as he was getting ready to throw that ball. Flynn made a spectacular catch, but uh, Meyer will be marked down at the 12-yard line, so that'll go as a sack, a loss of six on the play. Well, there was reason to scramble out of the pocket that time because he got big pressure inside. He runs to the outside and encounters more pressure out there. And Iowa State will punt it with Brantner. Winded his back. Standing at his own goal line. And that's fourth down and 13 play from the 12-yard line. Jonathan Lamb back for Kansas. And he bobbled the snap and now in trouble. And Brantner is going to be uh, brought down near the end zone. They're going to mark it at the one-yard line. It would have been better off in the end zone. It would have been a safety. Instead, they're going to give Kansas the ball at the one-yard line. Brander couldn't handle the snap. By the time he picked it up, there were bodies everywhere. And uh, Kansas takes over at the one. Man, can anything else possibly go wrong? Well, probably. I, I hate to ask. Yeah, absolutely. It's another big momentum play here. Doesn't really change momentum, but just maintains it. The snap was a little bit low. And now Reesing back in there at quarterback. Backs in the eye on first and goal from the one. <clears throat> Option play right side. Reesing keeps it. Touchdown. That drive covered one yard on one play. And Reesing took it in on the option. It's the botch snap. <sighs> Yeah, and a low snap probably could have been handled, but not a good snap, not a good catch. And any way you look at it, if it can go wrong today, boy, it sure has. Scott Webb will try the point after. Out of the hold by Lamb, and it is good. It's 34 to 3, Kansas, with 6.23 to play in the third quarter. Time out. You're listening to Cyclone Football. Unable to handle the snap. Kansas taking over the one yard line and then taking it in to make it 34 to 3 in favor of the Jayhawks. 6.23 to go in the third quarter. Now Webb will kick off for Kansas. And he hits it high. It'll be taken by Mylon Moses at the 12 yard line. Moses angling to the left side across the 25 to the 30, 35, 40. Moses cutting back, gets to the 45-yard line, all the way to the 47 is where they will mark it. It's a 35-yard return, the second outstanding return of the game for Mylon Moses. That's been one of the few bright spots for Iowa State today, Mylon Moses on the returns. Cyclone football is brought to you by Yield Guard plus corn. No team could zap Kansas like Iowa State, and nothing zaps more corn pests like Yield Guard plus corn for maximized yield potential. First and 10 from the 47. And Iowa State will operate with three receivers to the right side of the formation and Brett Meyer in the shotgun. Josh Johnson offset to his right. Rolling right is Meyer and pumping and throwing and it's caught across the 40 yard line. Now the ball pops out. Are they going to rule it incomplete? They're going to say he was juggling it. It's an incomplete pass. It was intended for R.J. Sumrall and that's actually a break for Iowa State. This was ruled a fumble. Kansas had it. Aqib Tlaib had the coverage. Yeah, big hit that time back there by Tlaib. Pretty well thrown ball. It was. It was right on the money. And Summerall had it momentarily, but not long enough uh, possession. Rule of the catch. Second down and 10 from the 47. Five receiver set, empty backfield. Brett Meyer in the shotgun. Meyer looking. 
Now flushed out, rolls to his right, trying to scramble, avoids three men and gets uh, back close to the line of scrimmage somehow. That was an escape act. Joe Mortensen finally brought him down. And right back at the line of scrimmage. And he'll bring, bring up a third down and 10. Cyclone receivers really struggling to get open downfield. And Brett Meyer has not had a lot of time to pick them out. Cyclone football have. is brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. So third down and 10 from the 47 yard line. 5-13 to go third quarter. 34 to three, Kansas. Three receiver set, Meyer in the shotgun. Kansas comes with a blitz. Meyer under duress, sacked. Back at the 38 yard line. A loss of nine. The market at the 39 actually. Joe Mortensen gets credit for the sack. And after that great punt or kickoff return by Mylon Moses, Iowa State goes in reverse. Well, it just the sack pathetic. Up. Just pathetic on offense, John. That time, free safety came on the blitz from the outside. They had pressure from the inside, and Meyer just had nowhere to go. Well, the snap was low to start. Brandner will punt with the wind at his back on uh, fourth and 18 from the 39-yard line. Lamb back deep for Kansas. Brantner handles the snap this time and gets rid of it. And Lamb a fair catch call at the 20, and that's where Kansas will start. Timeout on the field. A 42-yard punt by Brander. 4-17 to go third quarter, 34-3 Kansas. Back with more Iowa State football after these messages. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield. Lead over Iowa State as the Jayhawks take over at the 20-yard line. Brett Meyer sacked again. We don't have the official stats on sacks up here, but man, there have been a bunch. This was a team that came in having given up 29 sacks on the season. Reesing back in there at quarterback, hands off to Cornish, and he's hit right at the line of scrimmage and brought back Ataba Rubin, first man there. This defense has played a lot of good snaps in this game. Uh, certainly has had some bad snaps as well, but. All right, two big, two big pass plays that really hurt them. Led, they went for touchdowns. Uh, the first two scores for the Jayhawks. Cyclone football is brought to you by the High V Cyhawk series. The rivalry begins at home, and every point counts toward one team claiming top honors in this friendly competition. Follow the score at highv.com. Second and ten from the 20 in the shotgun Reesing. And Reesing looking to throw it. Under pressure now, throws at the last moment, and it's caught. Uh, it's Dexton Fields to the 26-yard line, a gain of six. Good throw by Reesing under pressure. And he just barely got rid of it, and they got six yards on the play. Michael's done a good job of collapsing the pocket. Ataba Rubin getting in there. And that time, Reesing just throwing it off his back foot, almost going down. Kind of a dangerous throw, but put it on the money. Safeties right now are James Smith and Brandon Hunley. Third down and four for Kansas from the 26. Reesing in the shotgun. Cyclone showing blitz here. Here they come. Reesing is under pressure, rolling out to his left. A flag on the play. We might have a hold. His pass to Jonathan Lamb, who makes the catch at the 34 yard line, which would be enough for a first down, but it'll come back. A hold on Kansas. I think John Banks, who was coming on the blitz, as was McKenzie. Banks, the guy that was held by John Cornish, the running back, trying to protect his quarterback. Holding, Holding. offense number 29, 10-yard penalty, it remains third down. Backs it up to the 16-yard line. How about a turnover? Okay. You get something to I vote yes. And you're for that? Yes. You know, James Smith back. He's not played a lot today at that strong safety spot. Just coming back off that broken ankle in preseason. Third down and 14 for Kansas from its 16-yard line. With shotgun racing. They come with a four-man rush this time. Pressure, a shovel pass, intercepted by Sean Moorhead. And he returns it to the 10-yard line. There's your turnover. All right. Pass. Good call. <laughs> Good call. Well, try, trying what's normally a very safe pass. That time, Moorhead just stepped in front of John Cornish. And Curvey got pressure on Reesing and forced him to kind of hurry it. 
And uh, Sean Moorhead, who has had a huge day defensively, comes up with an interception here. Probably got two and a half sacks, and now the interception, but just read it perfectly, stepped in front of Cornish and came up with the interception. They spotted at the 11. Very rare that you'll see a shuffle pass intercepted, but that was the case there. And uh, first and 10, Iowa State from the 11 yard line of Kansas. Trailing 34 to 3. Backs in the eye behind Brett Meyer. And Meyer will give it to Josh Johnson. Up the middle he goes. Got about three yards on the run. And he fumbled the football, and Kansas has it, I think. It is Kansas football. My goodness. <laughs> Unbelievable. Paul Como, the recovery. So you're down to your third team running back as Jason Scales is unable to go today. And he makes a big mistake here. Oh, this is just bad, John, just bad. They take over at the 10-yard line. So after Moorhead comes up with an interception, Josh Johnson fumbles on the next play. And Kansas takes it right back over from the 10. Cornish on a pitch out. Right side, 15, 20, 25, 30. Down the sideline, 35, 40, and out of bounds at the 42-yard line. A gain of 32 yards. John Banks ran him out of bounds. Well, just not surprising. You talk about demoralizing. Your defense comes makes a huge play. They're off the field for, you know, about a minute and have to come right back. And just very disheartening. 134 to go in the third quarter. Iowa State took it over first and 10 at the 11. Fumbled it on the next play. Kansas gets 32 on the play after that. Meyer the quarterback now under center. Hands it off to McAnderson the fullback. He has a big hole. 45-50. Bounces off a tackle of the 45 and goes forward to the 41 yard line of Iowa State. That's a gain of 17 yards for the fullback, McAnderson. Uh, showing some speed, too. Really exploded through the hole, but Jayhawks opening some big holes right now in this drive. Cyclone football is brought to you by Fairway. Shop your local Fairway store for all your tailgate needs. Four receiver set here for Kansas on first and 10 at the 41 yard line of Iowa State and the shotgun Kerry Meyer hands it to Cornish. Keeps no, Meyer it. keeps it, runs it around the left side across the 40 35 and taken down at Kerry the 34 Meyer. yard line. Jernard Williams, the man who made the play, also hurt on the play. He got seven or eight yards and they mark it closer to the 33 and Jernard Williams down on the field. He's playing because of the season ending injury a couple weeks ago to DeAndre Jackson. Hey, Cyclone fans, the employees of Mediacom are proud to provide Iowa the latest and greatest in superior entertainment and information. Call Mediacom today to find out what they're delivering to your community next. And uh, we'll see if they stop play here as they uh, tend to Jernard Williams. Apparently, they're going to continue on. So, no, we will not take a break. Let's go down to Ben Bruns for the consumer credit of Cyclone of Des Moines sideline report. Ben, did you see what happened to Williams on the play? Well, as as the the tackle was being made, uh, Williams really was at the bottom of the pile, and I'm not sure. Uh, uh, it looks like he may have gotten the wind knocked out of him or maybe a shoulder uh, type injury. Nothing in his lower body, but uh, frustrating. Frustrating right now for Iowa State and uh, all these fans that are still here and uh, the players and coaches on the sideline. And they will uh, help Williams off the field but he is able to walk off under his own power for the most part and should be okay we would hope second down and two coming up here from the 33 yard line brings Chris Brown Iowa State Chris Brown into the game replacing uh, Bernard Williams 51 seconds to go third quarter 34 3 Kansas and the shotgun Meyer and he'll hand it off to McAnderson no nope. nope. correction Meyer keeps it and runs it to the right side and gets across the 25 yard line so they fake the handoff to the fullback and then Meyer Kept it himself and got the first down. John Banks the stop. It was good reading that play and realized he could keep it. Circles around the right end and picks up another first down. A 
with less than 30 seconds to go in the third quarter. And Cyclones just trying to get through this one now, John. First and 10 from the 25 yard line of Iowa State. Kerry Meyer under center and a flag and too much time taken by Kansas. Delay, offense, five yard penalty, it's still first down. Well, to advance your career, consider the Executive Engineer Dual Master's Degree program offered on alternating weekends jointly by Iowa State and the University of Iowa. Yes, you heard correctly. They're working together to provide working professionals their Master's in Systems Engineering and their MBA. For more information, log on to iowamba.com. That's www.iowamba.com. Clock starts after the penalty is marked off to the 30-yard line. That takes us to the end of the third quarter with a score, Kansas 34, Iowa State 3. You're listening to Psych Kansas. We'll have first and 15 in Iowa State territory, leading 34 to 3. Eric, you raised a great point. Why does the clock start after a delay a game penalty? You can do that and run out the clock. Yeah, I mean, you can just continually take penalties and they start the clock and right. take another one. And at any rate, it'll be first down 15 to go for the Jayhawks at the Iowa State 30 yard line as we start the fourth quarter. Steve Johnson into the game for Iowa State. Gerard Williams out of there after getting hurt on that last uh, series of plays. Chris Brown is at one corner now and Steve Johnson at the other. Talk about a makeshift defensive backfield for Iowa State. They've really taken a, an injury toll in that position. Shotgun carry Meyer on first and 15 from the 30. Meyer dropping to throw has a blitz coming and he gets it off to Fine who is pummeled at the 25 yard line as uh, Banks and McKenzie were there for the double team hit. Well, Gain Banks, of five on the play. Banks hit him low and boy McKenzie lowered the boom right in his chest. Uh, pick up a five yards. Gets it back to the 25 yard line where it'll be second down and 10. Meyer from under center now, four receivers set. Tailback John Cornish. Pitch to Cornish, left side. Across the 25, across the 20, into the 18 yard line. Pickup of seven. And it'll bring up third down and three. Hunley and Banks on the stop for Iowa State. So Chris Brown, James Smith, Brandon Hunley, and Steve Johnson in the game as the Iowa State secondary. We have seen a fair amount of Rashawn Parker today. Early. We, hasn't, we haven't he seen played, as much of him late. He played some here in the second half, but certainly more than he's played the last few weeks. Third down and three from the 18 yard line. Five receiver set for Kansas. Meyer gets him to the line of scrimmage quickly, takes the shotgun snap, looking to his right and throwing, and an effort for the catch incomplete. It was intended for Brian Murph, and he was unable to make the catch at the 13 yard line, and Kansas. We'll face fourth down and we'll see if Scott Webb comes on or if they just go ahead and go for it here. I think they'll probably just go for it. So now a fourth down and three from the 18 yard line. And Meyer gets them quickly to the line of scrimmage. Four receivers set. Meyer drops to throw, looking left, firing that way, caught by Jonathan Lamb. He'll have the first down inside the 15-yard line to the 14. Let's go down to Ben Bruns for the consumer credit of Des Moines sideline report. Ben, any update on Jernard Williams? Yeah, guys, on the sideline, the uh, team doctor's looking at Jernard Williams, uh, looking at his left shoulder, potentially uh, an injury to his left shoulder. So I don't know that he'll be back in the football game today. First and 10 Kansas from the I call it the 12 yard line of Iowa State and the shotgun Kerry Meyer hands it off to Cornish trying the left side flag on the play a Taba Rubin made the stop after a gain of one but this will probably be a hold on Kansas. Sean Moorhead that time trying to get outside off a block I think was held by the tight end. Holding. Holding offense number 65 yeah. 10 yard penalty 
Remains first down. Make that the left tackle, Cesar Rodriguez. That backs him up to the 22. Here's an interesting score. Michigan defeats Ball State today, 34-26. So Michigan kind of looking ahead maybe a little bit for that game with Ohio State in a couple of weeks. They beat Northwestern last week only 17-3. Four receivers set here for Kansas on first and 20 from the 22-yard line of Iowa State. And a quick pass out to the right side, caught by Dexton Fields across the 15 and taken down at about the 13-yard line. It was Tyrone McKenzie and James Smith that ran him out. 12.58 to go, 34-3 Kansas. Some other scores, Nebraska defeated Missouri, 34-20 Texas Tech over Baylor, 55-21 Minnesota knocks off Indiana 63 26 Wisconsin over Penn State 13 to 3 and Maryland wins at was at Clemson 13 to 12. Second down and 10 from the 12 yard line of Iowa State. Out of the shotgun Kerry Meyer. Four receivers set and Meyer will keep it himself to the right side stumbles and falls right at the line of scrimmage. A couple of other scores K State leading at Colorado in the second quarter seven to nothing. And Iowa upset today by Northwestern, 21 to 7. Kentucky beats Georgia, 24-20. Mississippi State wins at Alabama, 25-16. Florida escaping Ander Vanderbilt, 25-19. There's some real surprises today. Yep, under 12 minutes to play here, 34 to 3. Kansas in front, third down and 10 from the 12-yard line of Iowa State. Kerry Meyer in the shotgun, four receiver set. And he looks over the middle and throws it. And Lamb, the catch of the four, broke a tackle and got to the one. First down, Kansas. It'll be first and goal at the one yard line. Chris Brown making the Iowa State. Chris Brown made the stop. So he slipped out of a tackle at the four and then took it to the one before Brown could bring him down. Cyclone football is brought to you by Applebee's. Come have dinner with Coach Mack and me every Monday night at Applebee's Names. Join us at 6.30 for the Cyclone Sideline Show, live from Applebee's. KU quarterbacks have been pretty impressed with both Reising and Meyer. They've had some pretty good zip on the ball, and they've shown some real escapability back there. First and goal from the one. Backs in the eye behind Meyer. Hand off to McAnderson, the fullback. Touchdown. Touchdown, Kansas. Brandon McAnderson. Brandon McAnderson, a one yard touchdown run. And it is 40 to three, Kansas. Boy, he's never saw this one coming, John. You didn't know if Iowa State was going to win this game or not, but certainly wasn't, was not expecting a 40 to three score here in the fourth quarter. Webb to try the point after. And the kick is good. It's 41 to 3, Kansas, with 11 11 to go. Timeout on the field. Back with more Iowa State football after these messages. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. In favor of Kansas with 11 minutes and 11 seconds to go. And Scott Webb will kick it off for the Jayhawks. It's been a long, long day for everybody associated with Iowa State. I do feel for these guys to have something like this happen. Long kickoff by Webb over the head of Moses and through the back of the end zone and Iowa State will start at the 20 yard line. Oh, Britt Meyer on the day 10 of 20 with one interception for only 114 yards though and Cyclone running game non-existent. 22 carries 14 yards of course one of those is a 10 yard loss by Mike Brantner on a punt. A would be punt. Meyer nine carries for minus nine yards. So factor in about four, five sacks. He has had some positive yardage rushing. Four receivers set for Iowa State. Brett Meyer first and ten from the 20 yard line. Takes the shotgun snap. Throws it out left side through the fingertips and incomplete. Intended for Marquise Hamilton. That's a little bit high. It would have been only about a four or five yard gain. Yeah. On the defensive coverage, 
coverage. Show your Cyclone spirit with licensed apparel and gifts from Size Locker Room in and around Jack Trice Stadium. Size Locker Room can supply any fan with t-shirts, sweatshirts, replica jerseys, car flags, anything and everything you need to show your Cyclone pride. Or shop online at www.cyclones.com. Second and 10 from the 20-yard line. The shotgun Brett Meyer. Looking left and throwing that way. Juggling catch made by Mylon Moses. He's out to the 26-yard line, a gain of six. A lot of things going on in Cyclone world here. Women's basketball opens their exhibition season tomorrow, 2 o'clock at Hilton Coliseum against St. Cloud State. Cyclone men will play on Monday night against Wayne State in their final exhibition game. Third down and four from the 26-yard line. Kansas comes with a blitz. Meyer throws it out left side. Caught by Moses at the 33. Broke a tackle across the 40, 45, across midfield into Kansas territory. And Mylon Moses has been the highlight of this day for Iowa State. He gets to the 47-yard line of the Jayhawks. It's his seventh catch of the day. He got 27 yards there. That puts him up over 90 yards for the second consecutive week. First and 10, Iowa State from the 47 of Kansas. 10-17 left, 41-3, Jayhawks lead. And the shotgun, Meyer. Meyer looking over the middle, now pumping and trying to get out of there. He fumbled the football. He was able to recover it and then took a huge shot at the 49-yard line of Iowa State. Man, did he get hit as Mortensen and Shermer both in there. Yeah, Shermer really nailed him after he picked up the ball. He pops right back up. Boy, has Brett Meyer taken some shots this season? Mm. Yeah. So kind of flexing that right arm. Loss is back to the, actually the 40, yeah, the 49 yard line of Iowa State. So bring up second down and 14 for the Cyclones. And they snapped the ball when Meyer wasn't ready for it. Ryan Cook able to pick it up, but wait a minute, the play was whistled dead. I believe it was Illegal a false pre- start on Iowa State. Before the ball was snapped, false start. Offense, number 75. It's a five-yard penalty. Remains second down. You hate to say a five-yard penalty is the (laughs) best-case scenario there, but uh, as Ryan Cook was chasing that thing around like a wild chicken there in the backfield and trying to pick it up. Scott Stevenson snapped the ball early. As Brett Meyer was looking over the left side, trying to call out, maybe make, make a change in the play. Second down and 19 from the 44. Meyer in the shotgun, four receiver set. Meyer drops to throw, has protection, fires deep down the left side, and it's a flag on the play as Moses caught that ball out of bounds, and he might have been being held, and the flags came in. Number 30, Dominic Rue, the converted wide receiver, had the coverage. And this might be def- it's pass interference on Kansas. You can make an argument that it was an uncatchable ball since Moses caught it about three yards out of bounds. Right. Pass interference, defense, number 30. It's a 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. So that'll push the ball back into Kansas territory. Cyclone football is brought to you by Casey's General Store, a convenient store, and a whole lot more. Now get any large made-from-scratch specialty pizza for $10.99 or a medium for $9.99. Ball at the 41-yard line of Kansas, first and 10. Iowa State, 9-12 to play. A 41-3, Kansas lead. Now the officials are discussing things. Mark Mangino had the officials here. And then you're going to get an explanation for him. Oh, Randy Crystal over talking to Mangino in front of the Jayhawk bench. So I mentioned Cyclone basketball getting started with a exhibition win last night. A thrilling game. It opens for real next weekend as Iowa State hosts in the American family insurance BTI Classic here at Hilton Coliseum. They'll play Friday night, 8 o'clock against Cal Riverside. There's no challenge. And also play Saturday night against Louisiana Monroe at 8 o'clock. And then Sunday at 2.30 
That's Sunday, November 12th, the week from tomorrow against Eastern Illinois. First and 10, Iowa State from the 41 yard line of Kansas and the shotgun, Brett Meyer, looking left and throwing that way. Caught by Moses at the 35 yard line. Moses, was that eight catches? Eight catches, and that puts him uh, just up over 100 yards. I think 101 yards in catches now, so. Got seven on that play. Brings up second down and three from the 34. Four receivers. Meyer in the shotgun. Kansas comes with a blitz and a flag before the ball was snapped. False start. False start on Iowa State. Cyclone football is brought to you by your Central Iowa Ford dealer, home of America's most trusted cars, trucks, and SUVs. Drive one today from your Central Iowa Ford dealer, Ford Bold Moves. We call that one uh, illegal snap on Scott Stevenson, the center. Backs it up to the 39 yard line where it'll be second down and eight. Four receivers set, Meyer from the shotgun, looking to his left, now throws it that way, deflected into the air and loosened incomplete as Sumrall hit it up high into the air and anybody could have had it. Moses made a dive for it, but so did about three Jayhawks and it dropped incomplete. It'll bring up third down. Cyclone football is brought to you by Tompkins. Go deep with Tompkins' huge selection of hydraulic adapters, hoses, and gaskets on the web at stockmeup.com. The Cyclones trying to score their first touchdown of the day here in the fourth they quarter. Averaged under 20 points a game this season, and the conference play just 14 points a game. In the shotgun, Brett Meyer, third and eight from the 39. Meyer rolling to his left to avoid trouble and trying to run it and goes out of bounds inside the 40 at the 38-yard uh, line, a gain of one. It'll bring up fourth down. And Iowa State will go for it here. Once again, Meyer getting flushed. And KU's done a nice job once Meyer has gotten outside the pocket. They're outside contained people. While they haven't always been able to make the play, they've really forced him deep and made it very difficult for him to get positive yardage when he scrambles and been able to keep a presence in his face as he's tried to throw the ball from outside the pocket. Three receivers set. Meyer in the shotgun. And he didn't expect the snap. Picks it up, in trouble, sacked. Back at the 45-yard line. And once again, Mortensen got to him, but Meyer was looking the other way when they snapped it. Uh, miscommunication between Scott Stevenson and Brett Meyer twice in that drive. Barney Cotton pretty upset over there on that Cyclone sideline. And Kansas will take over the ball at the 45. Timeout on the ugly day here at Jack Price Stadium. 41 to 3, Kansas leading. Reesing back in there at quarterback now. And Cyclones with Nate Freer in there, Stefan Dale, John Machado, Rashawn Parker, Jesse, Jesse Smith. Smith. Reesing from under center here on first down. Fumbles the snap and uh, scramble for it, and the Cyclones have the football. Reesing bobbling the snap, and it was John Machado that came up with the fumble recovery for the Cyclones. Well, good job by John. The guy's been pretty much a special teams guy for the last couple of years. And a junior college player last year was a good special teams guy until getting injured about two thirds of the way through the season. And he's worked his way back. So Iowa State takes over at the 44 yard line of Kansas. Now that's the fourth turnover on the Jayhawks. How many does Iowa State have? Shotgun snap to Meyer. Looking left and throwing that way. Caught by Mylon Moses. Spun away from one man and dragged another forward to the 36 yard line. Almost, I guess they're going to mark it closer to the 37. Joe Mortensen made the stop, but man, good effort again by Mylon Moses. Iowa State. Answer your question. Iowa State has fumbled five times today, lost three, and they also have an interception. So each team with three fumbles lost, 
and a pick. These are the two worst teams in the league in terms of turnover margin, and now Meyer has a pass batted down at the line of scrimmage. And it was uh, Jeff Weller knocking it down, Wheeler rather, knocking it down for uh, Kansas. The third and two. See if Iowa State can get the snap right here. Four receivers set. Line of scrimmage, the 36 of the Jayhawks. Meyer rolling right. Throwing on the run. Austin Flynn the catch at the 21-yard line. That'll be a first down for Iowa State. Gain of 15 on the pass from Meyer to Flynn. That time just rolling the pocket. And Meyer being chased on the back side. But Flynn driving downfield, breaking it to the outside. Meyer getting it to him for the first down. Looked like he had it. Close to the 26, they'll spot it just outside the 27. And again, a quick snap. Meyer able to catch it this time, rolling to his right under pressure, and he'll just throw it away. I'm not sure he expected that snap either. I don't know what's going on with these uh, center quarterback exchanges. But it looked like Meyer was caught off guard. I'll tell you what, it's not really fooling Kansas because, boy, they're coming as soon as that ball is snapped. The second and 10 from the 27. 6.46 left in the game. 41 to three, Kansas leads. Joined us late, Jason Scales has not played in the game, neither is Todd Blythe. Stevie Hicks, of course, was expected to miss the game, so was Tom Schmeling, They're hoping to get those guys back next week. John Davis unable to go. They're hoping to get him back next week as well. For second down and 10 from the 27 yard line. Under center, Brett Meyer. He'll hand it to Ryan Cook off the left side, across the 25, across the 20, and all the way down to the 16-yard line. Good hard running by Ryan Cook, the senior, as he got 11 yards on the run. Well, well blocked, and that time KU thinking pass all the way. Ryan Cook makes him pay. Good determined running, and you know, but Ryan Cook's really had a good career. Oh, yeah, got to be one of your favorites if you're a Cyclone fan. He's just, just talk about a guy who's given everything he has to this program. First and 10 from the 16. Under center, Brett Meyer. Handoff Cook. Up the middle he goes. And got about four yards on that carry to the 12-yard line. James Holt, the linebacker with the stop. It's a gain of four for Cook. Keep giving it to him. You know, there are a lot of guys out there. You know, the season's kind of gone south. I mean, no, no getting around that. But. There are a lot of guys out there that are still working really hard and trying, and that's what makes us, you know, a, as a fan, uh, it's disappointing the season, but as you get close to these guys, you really know how hard they work, and it's disappointing for them. Second and six from the 12 yard line. That's a great point. Out of the shotgun, Meyer rolling to his left, looking, now throwing, and it's caught by Austin Flynn, and he's taken out of bounds at the two yard line. Speak, There's another guy. Speak of the devil right yeah. there. I mean, Austin Flynn's another one of those guys that has really given everything he has for this football program, changing positions. And he's been playing the last couple of weeks. I mean, it took him about 25 minutes after the K-State game last week, John, just to get the tape cut off yeah. his ankle. They mark it at the three, a cyclone first down, first and goal from the three-yard line. Meyer from under center, Cook the lone setback, three receiver set. Meyer dropping. Rolling to his right, under pressure, throws it for Moses, and he couldn't make the catch in the end zone. No flag, looked like some contact with Moses and a linebacker there tied up, Jake Shermer. But uh, no flag, it'll bring up second and goal from the three. I thought Brett might just be throwing that one away, but I mean, Milan got a hand on it as Brett was being chased, running for his life. 535 left in the game, 41-3 Kansas leads. Iowa State second and goal at the three yard line. Two receivers right, one left. Ryan Cook, the lone setback, and Meyer from under center. And Meyer will give it to Cook, spinning forward to the one. And on the stop was Shermer. It'll be third down and goal from the one yard line. And I'll mark it at the two, I stand corrected. Well, they really closed out that time from the end spot. 
did. Cook hit in the backfield, but nice job driving and didn't get a great spot, but so see if they keep pounding with Cookie. Why not? Give it to the senior. Third down and goal from the two. Two receivers right under center. Meyer gives to Cook. Left side. Touchdown. Ryan Cook gets his 17th career touchdown. And Iowa State finally gets its first touchdown of the day, which is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. Cyclone football is brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. Napa, get the good stuff. Well, they put it together. The fumble recovery by John Machado put Iowa State in business, and the Cyclones running the football with Ryan Cook and a couple of nice throws from Brett Meyer. And Iowa State finally gets that elusive first touchdown. And it comes with 4.57 to play. Culbertson on to try the point after. Out of the Austin Flynn hold. And uh, Shaggy continues to stay perfect on extra points throughout his Cyclone career. 41 to 10 in favor of Kansas. Timeout on the field with 4.57 to play. Back with more Iowa State football after these messages. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. Ben Bruns for the Consumer Credit of Des Moines Sideline Report. And Ben, you know, a big ugly like you, you probably got a special spot in your heart for fullbacks. I know you're a big Joe Parmentier fan. You got to like a guy like Ryan Cook. Good to see him get in the end zone there. Absolutely. You know, Ryan Cook ought to play tailback for the Cyclones for the rest of the season. Really. I mean, yep. Yep. He, he, he's, he's playing hard and, and still fighting in there. Um, couldn't be more proud of that young man. Well, thanks, Ben. Ready to kick off is Grebon. I'm just kidding about the big and ugly part, too. Well, the big part. Rebound <laughs> pops the kick up, and a fair catch called by Derek Fine, the tight end. A fly came in. I believe the Cyclones were offside. Fine made a fair catch call at the 30-yard line. <laughs> and they'll decline the penalty. I think take the ball at the 30. Waiting for Randy Crystal. Offside, kicking team, five yards will be added to the end of the run. First and 10, Kansas. So Kansas will get it at the 35-yard line. And once again, same group that was out there, Machado, uh, Nate Frere, Stephon Dale, Rashawn Parker. Reesing the quarterback, hands it off. Jake Sharp running across the 40-yard line to the 41, a gain of six. John Machado the stop. K-State leading Colorado right before halftime, 14 to nothing. The game out in Boulder, so. Now, of course, Iowa State will play at Colorado next week. 4.17 to go here. Second and four, Kansas from the 41 yard line. They lead it 41 to 10. Game next week, 2 o'clock Iowa time, 1 o'clock Mountain for the kickoff. Reesing, working from under center. Give it to Sharp. Broke a tackle in the backfield and got forward to the 44 yard line, a pickup of three. He was brought down by Chris Brown, Chris Brown and Alvin Bowen. That'll bring up third down. And one. And right now, Nebraska with their win today in the driver's seat in the Big 12 North. As they move to four and two, Nebraska falls, or rather, uh, Mizzou falls to three and three. And they've got the tiebreaker. K-State could move into a tie at three and three. Uh, looks like we're headed for the Texas-Nebraska rematch in the Big 12 championship game. Reasoning. Hands it off to McAnderson, the fullback, and he got the first down across the 45 to the 46. Alvin Bowen brought him down. A long field goal by Jeff Snodgrass of Kansas State. They lead 17 to nothing at the half. And uh, K State, I think they might have a chance to, to win the Big 12 North. They've got to go to Texas yet.
Snodgrass knocking one through from long, long range. First and 10 from the 47 here. Kansas with the ball and the lead and handing it off to Jake Sharp. He's brought down after a gain of Jake one. Sharp. Alvin Bowen the stop. The Alvin Bowen making the tackle. Clock ticking to 40 to go. Line of scrimmage, the 47 of Kansas. Second down, called eight yards to go here for KU. <laughs> Reesing. Hands it off to Sharp. Cross midfield into Iowa State territory to the 47. Sure. Alvin Bowen again with the tackle. The electrifying stat of the game is brought to you by the electrical workers of Local Union 347 and the Iowa chapter of the National Electrical Contractors Association. When you need electrical service, team up with IBEW and NECA, the winning connection. Well, even though KU had four turnovers, you know, Iowa State's margin for error is so slim right now. I think the four turnovers for Iowa State, John, were, were the, the telling stat. Uh, KU with over 400 yards offense, they've doubled up Iowa State 404 to 202. Uh, but the turnovers, I thought, early in the game really made the difference. Third down and four, Kansas from the 47-yard line of Iowa State. Reesing. Hands to McAnderson, and he's uh, met and dropped by Stefan Dale for a loss on the play of a yard. Dale, the tackle for Iowa State. Clock ticking at 1.10 to go. It'll be fourth down. Kerry Meyer on the day for the Jayhawks. 17 of 22 for 199 yards. Reesing with was three of five for 35 yards. But Meyer, the, certainly a guy that had a great day today, although the touchdown pass from Reesing really uh, gave the Jayhawks some breathing room. was a big play on fourth down. That was a great play by the receiver. Yeah. Punting it away is Kyle Tucker. 35 seconds to go in the game. Hits it to R.J. Sumrall and takes it at the six-yard line across the 10 to the 15. 21 seconds left. And we owe you a break. Let's take it now. You're listening to Cyclone Football. At, at the end of the game, just take that last network break and combine it with the end of the game break. Make that a, a three-minute break. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you, you can just call for this right here. It's fine. Just call for that. Thoughts? Oh, we're talking about one of my the fumble, oh. the fumble recovery by uh, Berg. Berg would be the play of the game. The fumble recovery early. Uh huh. Long distance. Moses had a long catch. Yeah. Didn't he? The catcher kickoff return. Twenty-one seconds left. Forty-one to ten. Kansas in front. Let's pause ten seconds to allow our stations to identify themselves. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports. Iowa State taking over the football at the 15-yard line. Time for just a, a play or two. Van Winkle. Van Winkle. Kyle Van Winkle will come out. Take this snap, senior. Out of Roland, Iowa. And he'll hand it off to Ryan Cook. Up the middle he goes across the 25, all the way to the 27. A gain of 12 yards for Ryan Cook. Seven seconds left. 
to move the chain, so that stops the clock. Now they start it again, and that'll and that's do it. That'll do it. They uh, allow the clock to run out, and uh, Kansas defeats Iowa State by a final score of 41 to 10. Back with more Iowa State football after these messages. This is the Cyclone Network from Learfield Sports.